But meanwhile, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to every one of you. As you all can see right there, husband killed his wife in the UK. You know, so, but for us to take more details on this, I would like us to take it from here. I have a few articles here and I have about one or two videos as well that I would like us to listen to. Then we'll take it from there. What the What is the causes of things like this? And um, yes, we were talking about some of it the other day, though, but I think we will learn more um, today, depending on the submission of the people that will be joining us today. Uh, my people, make an iPod press on the like button as I prepare what I'm putting on the screen uh, soon. Okay, let me put this one here. Just put this article here quickly and take it from here. Uh, bear with me, my people. Just bear with me. Okay, uh, there you go. There you go. Okay, let's take this one. This one is coming from Lida in Cage's uh, blog site. Nigerian man reportedly, reportedly kills his wife in the UK months after relocate, relocation. Okay, Nigerian man killed his wife in the UK. They relocated this year. She got restraining order from the police and this man still found a way to kill her. Three children are left parentless. Mother dead, father heading to a lifetime in prison. It's a very pathetic one, to be honest. Uh, okay, I'm just going to leave it right there. You know, that I just wanted to bring that in to tally up with the videos that I'm going to be playing to hear what some of the Nigerians have to say over this. You know, Make on a press on the like button. No, okay. Let me monitor this like. Currently, we only have hundred likes. We have over three hundred people listening to us. The likes is 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 low. Press on the like now. Wait to happen to the many two hundred people with the watchers. Uh, I'm gonna not there. Press on. We have one oh one like. Eh? Press on the like. You press on your the talk. You know some people you the look look or say continue talking. Press encourage us. Eh, this whole thing is, is about us. It's not about me alone. It's about us. So let's encourage ourselves. But meanwhile, I'd like us to start with a video here so that we can take it from here. I have uh, two videos that I would like to play, but I'd like to start with one first. Let me start with this one from this lady. Another disheartening Nigerian spousal murder has occurred in the United Kingdom. Mr. Abotunje David Olubumi was married to his wife, a nurse known as Owaye Taiwo Morani KJ, in Nigeria some years back. Their union was blessed with three amazing children, and they've lived in Nigeria ever since until early this year 2023, when they decided to relocate to the United Kingdom. It appears they started experiencing some domestic issues in their marriage shortly after they relocated to the United Kingdom. It is unknown what exactly those issues were, but it's been alleged that Taiwo had secured a restraining order against her husband, and I'm guessing that that was because of the issues that they were having in the marriage. But it appears that Mr. David chose to go against the law by going in search of his wife after the restraining order. Not only did he go in search of his wife, he was said to have gone to where she was living and murdered her in cold blood on Tuesday the 28th of November 2023. The police have since arrested Mr. David and he's currently in their custody. He will be charged for the killing of his wife on that fateful day. The children have since been taken by the UK government social services and they're currently in their protection. May the soul of Mrs. Taiwo rest in perfect peace. This news has sparked so much outrage and many people are questioning what exactly is happening in the institution of marriage that spouses can no longer tolerate themselves. Why do we have to deal with this excessive cases of spousal killings on a daily? I sincerely would love to know your thoughts on this story. What do you think is happening to the institution of marriage? Why are all these killings becoming more frequent. Please kindly share your thoughts in the comment section and I would read and engage. This remains a developing story and I will definitely bring you more updates as soon as more details are revealed on the story. All right, uh, my people, on that one, uh, that is the first video that I have for you. Let's listen to this man as well because I wanted to play two uh, videos, although I have other ones as well. Please, just carefully listen to all the videos I'm going to be presenting. Then I'll post out a link again so we can take it from there. Thank you very much. Hmm. Jackba, Nigerian man, why 
wife after relocating to United Kingdom. This idea say we deny ourselves. We got to do what we got to just stop, take a chill. Because it's one too many. This lady, according to the news, they say she be nurse when in the Niger. And you understand that kind of thing, dependent. Now I carry a comb, UK. Now this lady, now I first enter UK before she now invited her husband with three Peking conjoined for UK. When the husband Jonah for UK finish, because the husband, according to the few few allegedly, the talk say even for Nigeria, say the husband day that domestic bruhaha, say he get them for him body well well, say because now every now and then, now bars bulls bulls bars now they happen, to the same way we say they don't carry the matter several times, go meet them pastor. The neighbors they took him out, but this man will never listen. They will talk, say this woman go collect paper, takada, where we say they don't give the man some meters away from that place. But the man do it, he flouted it, and see find his way to enter this woman no more. Where we say go buy this woman for that place. The police, where they for so forth now now they carry the matter put for the head when you say the talk say hey when they get that distress call they walk out go to the house now two people now they carry from that house which is the husband of the diseased woman and one other 38 years old nigerian guy but from the investigation, total investigation, the final say, this guy, where we say that they call a bottle day, now I'm alone solely, now I do that job. Now I buy a wife, all alone. So this other guy, where we say they take cash together with them, they tell and say, Maloma de Shemo, come on, say, he no get this at all. Oh, the talk say, Oga Uwe here, talk say UK police after investigation don't declare Olubu me a bottle day as the sole man, gang, 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 when we say by his own sister. Because now, now the brother now, now they talk, now the brother now even put down for social media, when we say put down on the 28th, there, where the thing, don't they go here? You don't go like fire till police come to come out. They carry touch light, go body, they touch everywhere. Now they discover saying that this man I buy out. I don't they talk um, often and often for this my platform. Say so if your husband and I they do cha 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 like fire, my sister waka commodes. The video see the men I go watch the video. Because this one, a domestic bass bows, domestic buha, and I they happen there. And this kind of thing, don't they happen a lot? Why we be saying now when na carry on herself, reach abroad, na go go they buy on herself. Eh? If you no walk, make una commod, make na live on herself. It better make na live on herself, make it of na see day alive, that make una de buy on herself. Now this man now <laughs> will be a bottle day. Hey, maybe the man will go for a very long time because the bobo where the bobo investigation uh, document gagan they don't carry him. Give the IOPC for UK there. Who be the IOPC? They be the independent office of police conduct. They go touch that big one for the matter. Now, let's go back to the children. What do you mean the fate of the children now? Fine, fair enough. The children now, they the hand of social services. But can it be 
without the mother? Can it be without the father? Do you know the kind of trauma that these children will be going through or that these children they will be facing? Knowing fully well that now them papa, now they buy their mama. Because they didn't see the news, internet see day. The kids they will grow where well, where well, when they will see they see the story. Or maybe self. If I even buy a mama for the presence of this three picking, no one knows. I don't care what you want to say, right? Maybe you go to say at least they will get better life or whatever. But no, could that be called That be the problem we be say we get. Nigerian woman. Don't let your family push you anyhow. Because the family go say, ah, don't leave the don't leave the marriage, oh, the endure, oh, the endure. Oh. Your pastor too go say, eh, 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 divorce is not the is not the next thing. I beg. If you don't divorce, make you work out come more. You go work out go inside Koto. Now it be. You remember the other woman, or she now she may be saying husband too buy at that time. Now, so this is take spread like fire for social media. Now, this one don't go now. Make I tell you now one thing. Make I tell you now one thing. Not because, but more go see happen. Because, hey, the way we be say our culture there, you don't, you don't, you don't put people inside say, I don't want to live because of my children. I don't want to live because of my children. You now you don't live because of your children. You don't buy now your children where you don't want to live. They don't kind of go give another person. Now so the thing will be. That's why I beg. If if your if your marriage don't the date, you know, bad boys like that, find way come on for that marriage. When the woman entered abroad the last time, when she collected her picking from her husband from the airport, when she talks say bye bye, a lot of people they give this woman water, water, but the woman talks say nice sabi waiting in eye the sea, back from home, domestic brouhaha, it didn't happen, and the woman knows say the only way when if you take put in picking for a body, now to pretend invite the man come. Make him invite him, pick him also come. When he collects the picking finish, he tell the man, say bye-bye. Azumi -bye. said this woman now, Miss Taiwo, the late Taiwo now, when we say don't buy now, the nurse. Azumi say he, she did the same thing. Probably, maybe this wouldn't have happened. But like I talk her, my culture, my religion, my family, they go push you in Takoto. They go come out. From your back. Now we be say our dear sister now. This in this, this husband, whether they call uh, about today, allegedly say he don't buy this woman now. This family where they go talk to make it stay for the marriage. This pastor where they go talk to make it stay for the marriage. This our culture where they go talk to make this woman stay for the marriage. Where they day now? The phone and go inside the court any day. No. No. So, sister, I beg, you have any brain. Give yourself brain. Be wise. Don't they, don't they, make you not allow that, that, that love, make it cover your face. No. When you don't notice that bad boss of a thing, wrong come out. If they won't talk, make them talk. Now you get your life. I beg. We wish, hey, this woman now, we wish I'm, R.I.P. I beg. Maybe softly do him. Okay. Um, thank you very much, my people. On that one, you know, you know, say for where this day happened, so now like uh, 35 minutes from where me this day for UK. Uh -huh, now it for happen. So we still here on that grand information and all that, which we could not verify. You know, uh, I not see article take verify, but verbally, verba confirmation you know which i cannot really bring here somebody talk to me one or one say see what it happen and all that you know so we uh, after the man don't come the man gonna can't get to find out say allegedly say this wife 
you know, say he can't they follow another, he don't they follow another man for UK before income. So the man can't see everything for inside a phone, you know, and uh, what did the man see for the phone? Not just a picture of man. The man can't see allegedly, what did he see for inside the phone? Now the bod body of another man, that's how they put on, you can digest that by your own, on your own. Body of another man for her phone. She can't see him for, you know, say, she can't go even hide the particular WhatsApp or the talk. So, say, she can't go hide that WhatsApp for you get the way they tell they hide WhatsApp. Say, you know, person, if you look your phone, you're not going to say WhatsApp, they that phone. So, cut everything short. They said, I make this man, uh, this because this man we talk just now, and I was surprised. Say, this man still get information. Say, the man fair get this bus boss character back home. You know, if that one are true, uh, hey, they say you can't blame the dead that much. I go blame the woman for a lying man with already big bass boost. Make it continue for your life just like that. Because once my dog bass bow you once, uh, he go do one again the second time, go do one the third time, go do one, he go continue to do one until you buy. But meanwhile, you know, that story where Percy tell me, Percy, where your daddy city, go, 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 go. I tell me this one four days ago. But because say we know they get time for this, our platform to talk about what they happen. You know, politics, politics, politics. You know, say see what they happen. The man cried out. If I say the man, if you carry the picture, go show their pastor. You know, but unfortunately, according to the person, the person will talk to me now. Let me say they talk to the person. Now me, they talk to. Now, now say the person now they talk, say because of the case for UK. A uh, pastor, the fear to come out to testify with the man see since Percy do already buy for this matter. So the man go meet pastor, say, see what he find for a wife phone and all that. So I believe, say, one or two argument now happen in the house. You know, although whatever way you see for phone or you don't see or you see for your bed, your, my, your matrimonial bed is not enough for you to buy anybody. For my advice, for those of you who know, they listen to us now. Uh, hey, they say not the way person never see for this life. Just waka come out. Yes, waka come out as that our uh, elderly man talking just now. Waka come out. The worst, worst, what go pay you for some time. Say you can't go raise your hand. Look now, three children, no mama, and no papa, go be as well. Because for UK, this kind of situation, and life imprisonment. But meanwhile, I go like make we listen to because I can't still hear from another one or two videos. They say, you know, uh, the woman rich here, the woman can't know, say, he get power past the husband, blah, 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 and all that. Then the woman can't misbehave. Can't they utilize that power where you can they give our women, not be small? Can't they use that? They oppress the, um, uh, in, in, you know, as the husband come, say, he can't they use that uh, uh, power, they oppress the husband. For UK, now no say for UK. Now women, I get power. You need to for your woman to respect you hundred percent for UK. You know, say that woman no tradition. Uh -huh. Now well trained wife and uh, go respect you, go honor you as husband. But eighty percent of women where they UK. I'm sorry if now UK you day eighty percent of them, they not get character. Uh -huh. No matter how you go provide everything where they this word for them. No. They are being intoxicated by the power where UK government give them. And everybody know that one anyway. Now UK, they see, say, man, we don't suffer, build the whole house. Woman come pursue you, come on for your house where you buy. You will come, they say, cool. If they have all, they have all the time for UK. Now, yeah, we did now. Everybody know these things. But, but, we get better women for UK. We know, say, this power, they give them. But the way Papa and Mama, they bring them up. You know, for Nigeria, they know they deviate out of them. They, they respect their husband, tell her, tell her, where, where? You know, because husband, they know, say, normally, men, they like a submissive man, a, a submissive woman, I mean, you know. But regardless of anything, we go little, you can't raise your hand, maybe beat your woman. Yeah, you fit to say, I don't want my hand, I just say, make I just slap him. Or oh, one ordinary slap, feel little, anything. Yes, because a human being, you don't know what it go lead to. Ordinary slap. But meanwhile, I'm more listen to what it, or that this woman go still talk for here. Yeah? I want to make a play my video. I'll see play woman video. So we'll come look all of them together. No, we see how it go go from there. My people, I beg. 
make one press on the like button, you know, now pathetic story, but uh, make an offer say some people can't even reach out to me say, why not talk about this thing? Uh, since we happen, not be my fault. I get the information from the day one way it happened, you know, but I don't get the time, you know, time not there. I know they get time, but more listen to what this woman want to talk. See, they sell all those your properties as soon as they gather funds together to jack back because what's raining now is the jack syndrome. I have no problem with that. But please, you see that your wife, make sure that the plants are the same. Make sure both of you plan to be a team. This is the seventh case here in UK that a woman got here, framed her husband, and there's a case. Nigerians in diaspora, so many organizations are tired of taking up these cases. If you don't want your husband anymore, yes, if you get here, you have the right to divorce him. But don't lay allegations on an innocent man. Especially with the case of rape, where you know rape is a serious case here. Only this year, this is the seventh case I know of. If you get here, here is not like Nigeria. You don't have to have a reason. You can just wake up and divorce your husband. It's fine. Or a lot of married couples stay together, but they are separated. But they live their own lives. So you guys can work it out like that, live your lives until probably you have your uh, permanent residency or something. Then you can go your way. But one thing I do not sign up for, and this is something I've, I've been advocating for, any false allegation of rape should have jail sentence. People shouldn't just sweep it under the carpet and let it be. Because it thwarts opportunities for real victims to speak up. How dare you? Allow your spouse to sell everything, if possible, borrow money, and then both of you get here. It is here, one of the cases is here, you dumped your two, two children on your husband and ran away with your ex-boyfriend. Ex-boyfriend that did not bother to bring you abroad. He came himself. Then your husband saw opportunity with this care out, came with you as a dependent. You dumped the children on him and ran away. Children he gave that to, not adopted. Then I've seen two cases where you laid allegations of the rape. This one now, upon investigation, phone contacts, WhatsApp chats, gave everything away. Or how you planned with your friends here in London on what to say to lay false allegations on your husband. How many children? Three. Wait, oh, is it that you people do not consider or think about the mental well-being of your children? Or how? These things can affect your children. I will always say one thing. It is not by force to stay with anybody. But you guys can settle or separate amicably and go your way. What do you stand to gain to put somebody in prison on false allegation? What do you stand to gain? Where is your conscience? In fact, this lady, I have to ask her, where is your conscience? The father of your children, three. This man said he bought, he's indebted for over 12 million naira in Nigeria. Even me, said that I'm even amazed how you people borrow. If I have access to 12 million in Nigeria, I will not leave Nigeria. I'd rather use it to do business. But if you say, oh, don't come, the person will see you as witches and wizards. So it's best to allow people to come and experience things themselves and see there's not a bed of roses. All right. You see, this video, why I play so? Uh, this woman with the talk, I don't know, but according to and I was reading comments and all that. They were saying that, you know, uh, although not true, say many women are fetal can just now, that they do everything possible for here. Maybe they don't, I don't know. I don't know if they push them at any way. I can't really say. Maybe they don't get one or two reasons to leave their husband, but they believe that the only way they can move out of their husband and to uh, imprison their husband, which is, is very wrong. It doesn't make any sense to me. You understand, you know, uh -huh. but according to, um, you know, series of information going on, say that man, don't forget go complain to people where he know, where he still know him and the husband. You understand, you know, and uh, this woman, the restraining way, where the husband fair get for the house, they say that the woman still go lie for the man head, you know, and I make police fair ban up. Now, no man thing for UK. Anything where women talk now, like UK police they follow because I don't know whether UK people they here. Me they may not come like same person, not the torture for here. 
If you're in the UK person, they come and say, sure, please, you know, testify to this. Now, did you and your go talk? You know, now, okay, for ima just imagine, woman go report, you go report your husband, say, rape you. I don't understand, you know. So, but nevertheless, the reason why we brought this issue here today, person doc by now. Okay, thank God. Uh, hey, I guess some people for a lot of God is my strength. God bless you, man. Thank you. I think say maybe may not come be like so. Let me come to talk for here. You know, I'll post link again for those of you that want to talk on this. You know, they say the man don't complain. The man spent so much amount to carry his wife come. He spent everything for himself to come. As he can't come, he can't see say not be as things day. Not not now he can't day. Can't be like say the woman not can't get love for him again. The woman not they give her attention like that again. So the man can't say me go deep. May find that within the shop. Now there they say the man can't find something for the woman phone. I don't know whether that's true, but now wait till they verbally tell me be this. And they're uh, related to most of the videos that are circulating on social media as well. Then, you know, from there, from there, from there, the man can carry the, the evidences when he see for phone. He can go show their pastor, you know. Uh, they said that that same pastor, and I pray for them, pray for everything where the man come. He can go show pastor. Now, wait till they talk now say, I wish say pastor, if he come out, say yes, he see this thing. But according to what they tell me now, say, Pastor, say, because, say, person don't buy for this matter, you know, your gay hand at all for this matter. You know, so it's, it's a very, very pathetic situation. I feel more pain for the children because the man and the wife, uh, although I'm not happy for their situation, but I'm, I feel pain for the children. The three children, we can't know, say, they can't grow, can't know, say, they not get mama, probably they not still get papa. I don't know how many years UK government go put them, you know, for inside prison. So my people, now, so we see all this matter. We still have more videos though, but because of time, I would like to start hearing from people on this particular matter, then we'll take it from here. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to every one of you. And as so we see the matter, maybe some of you might have better information on this. Please join us as I post out this link and let's talk about it together. You know, depend on how people take join me today. And so we'll take up for this platform, take close on time as well. So thank you very much. A link has been reposted. Click on it, join us here. But I would like to start with Madame Luke first. Madame Luke, it's good to have you on the panel. You're the first today on the panel. Good evening to you, man. Thank you very much for all you do. Please talk to us with what we have presented so far. Yay! I made it to be the first one here today, Sunday. You are. You are. Watchers. Thank you. Thank oh, you. boy. Another case again. Mm -mm -mm. A serious case. <laughs> well, unfortunately, this happens more in Nigeria than we know. It's just because when we hear it abroad, it becomes uh, sensational. Because... Uh, it is just the way it is. I'm a nurse too, so I can understand all this nurse bashing and all this stuff about you, you, you know, you, we are just the worst people on earth right now because we don't respect when we make this our little money we make, it's like it gets into our head, blah, 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 blah. I don't care whether you catch a woman on top of a man in your bedroom. Apparently, this lady decided to get this man over to the United or to the UK to get her kids. That was the only thing she wanted. Now, this man had seen the Ryan writing on the wall from time immemorial. I don't know what is what is it with our people with rejection. Why, what, why is it that we take rejection so hard? Somebody, you see, the last thing I will do is to go where I'm not wanted. I don't care how ugly I be. I don't care how, how ghetto I be. The last place you will find me is where nobody, where, where I'm not wanted. Then a whole man with pride, a woman will be rubbishing you. You'll be jump. You even have time to go and look at her phone. When the thing don't they you think the thing don't don't they ground see say this woman don't I know day for that marriage is she a goat if she don't want you she don't want you so which one is going to pastor and going here and going there and going here and going there now look at where it has ended 
to show that the man is the one that really has anger management problem, you take him, you take the life of the mother of your children. If not me, I don't even know if I would. Have. Now you know what where women frame men, because it's better to lock them up than have peace. Because if they are roaming free, they will kill you. They will kill you. This is an example. Because they want that control. They want your paycheck. They want the me away go nursing school. What do you they do where they go nursing school? What you, what do you they do? Not be your mates, they go medical school. Not be your mates, they go medical school. Instead, you will put your eye because and eh, you brought me to America and eh, you did this one, you did this one. You, you say it's getting into our head. Do, do you know the insult I go and stand for 12 hours taking bullshit from, from all kinds of people? So my first work 60 hours a week. 60 hours a week. Do you know what that is? Then you want to come back and I'm normal. I will cook. I will train children. Then you know that raising children in this country here. That one, another, another, another story. You said you will go to jail for that one. What are you what are you doing to work as a team? When you come here, you find that say eh, the man no be as before. That should have been your time to get out of that marriage. Why are you what are you doing with somebody that does not want you? Is your self-esteem so low that you must be tacked to that one woman? Where is your pride? Where is your self-respect? Then you end up taking a, a human life for what? For what? So, the man got what he deserved. And I hope he will get more and be a, 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 a bedmate to one of the most vicious rapists in that prison yard. Because any man that takes the life of the wife of his children, I mean, the, the, the mother of his children, is an imbecile. Because of what? She's not your property. If she don't want you, she don't want you. Same thing for a woman. If a man doesn't want you, you walk. Go get another one. So like I said, I don't care what the woman did. Even if you catch me on top of five men in your bedroom, that's to tell you that your time is up. You need to leave. Let me deal with my God and let me deal with my punishment. But you have no right taking another human life. Yes, we can be disrespectful. We can be this. We can be that. We can be this. We can be that. Yes. I have lived it, so I know. But me, I go kill the man before he kill me. You know, me, I be a do woman. Me, I go kill you first before you kill me. I will not tolerate any kind of. The moment you even lay your hand on any of my kids or me, you will have it with me. Because you need to check your temper. Because that nonsense you people do in Nigeria, you think you can just be beating women anyhow, beating children anyhow, no voice, nothing. We will be dying like chicken. Then you want to come and try it abroad. And you tell us that because we are nurses. The nurse work now, easy work. 12 hours on your feet with varicose veins, taking bullshit, packing poop, risking your, your life with HIV patients and everything. Is it a joke? Then when I come on my one piece, I won't get it. So yes, he deserves what he get. The, the man is 100% at fault. I don't care what the woman did. Sign out. Drop my mic. <clears throat> Madam, uh, Madam, look, you just cut a table anyhow. Yaka, 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 ta. Ha, na wow. Hi. Mm -hmm. All right. I don't know what I want to talk for the, your submission, no, because you the verse, not be small. Anyway, uh, if you know, say you be that man where they do basketballs with woman, you are cowards. That one I've talk since any man where they do basketballs with woman, you be coward and uh, you can walk away. There are so many women out there. Now, uh, uh, you know how many women wait this street, wait there everywhere? Ah, uh -uh, wait it down. I don't understand, though. Why are you going to do basketball with one woman? Anyway, make a move home. More here from other people right here. Mark Okunsa, thank you very much uh, for your time with us. I would like to hear from you. What's your take on this particular topic? Are you yeah. there? Yes, I'm here. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. Thank you very much, my brother. Good evening to you. Talk to us. Yeah, um, I was in a, a like a similar situation. So it's a, it's a, I don't know. The system here, I think it, it, it come from Margaret Thatcher, it come from 
You know how many years in a woman, the rule, the monarchy, instead of man, you screen Elizabeth, how many years? Not, I don't know, 60, 70 years. Then you have people like uh, Theresa May, they come from the system. So this system, you begin to spoil them. On top of that, they, when they come here, the benefits that uh, basically the eye open when they reach this country. They can promise as much as they want to back in Nigeria. <laughs> but another thing, totally, 100%, another thing, when they land for airport, another thing, because obviously they will make friends. Those friends who say that they are good or bad friends, depending on which type of friends they get, when they advise them, is is very difficult, very difficult. No, 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 no. Your man is not supposed to do that to you. You can just claim benefit, claim benefit. Do this, do this, do this, do this, finish. When the eye open, say, eh? you mean it? That's the end of the relationship with that. So don't get me wrong, go. Me, I'm not so, uh, supporting this man, go for it. I'm not supporting this man, but I was in a similar situation. This uh, woman, she can just annoy to the point of it's like as if she'll be looking for it, if it's what I mean, looking for it. And uh, mm. I was uh, studying her for three, four years. I was married for eight years before I did. I was studying her maybe three, four years before I made a, a mature decision. Mm. I was watching her, watching because the kids, I'm thinking of the kids all the time. I was watching and watching it was not getting better. It's getting worse. It's getting worse. It's getting worse. I said, uh -huh. I started looking at it, looking at it, and so I say, no way. I can see that the devil wants to use them, you know, to cause something else. The neighbors, when they when they when when, when they started they knocking the door, ah, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Yeah, I could see that it is it, going, it's going, it's turning another direction. I just make my own decision. And I get out from there. I tell you, that's a very, a very wise decision. A very wise decision. Because it can just go the other way. For yeah, that man, there's no every, support. Sorry. I said, not every man that can have that kind of mind, you know, the zeal to take your, your kind of decision as well. Exactly. The other way is what most men would think. They say no. And then if it will come into his mind, I will do something. You know what I mean? That's what comes to most men's mind. But uh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I get some some special kind of patience. Me, I just left. Bam. I just left that place. Wow. And believe it, it was very wise. Very wise. Because I could see that she was like a, a, egging it on. She too, she know the system. She too, she's uh, going in that direction. It's like sometimes you even say, do you even say, yes, come, come. Beside me, yes, come and hit me, come and hit me, come and hit me. You know what I mean? Me, I get my own sense, my sense they correct 120 percent. I would just be laughing at uh, you to <laughs> fear quite if you see what I mean. That, that's what I'll be saying <laughs> because I know what she's doing, where she's going. You want to implicate somebody and then just begin laughing. Me, I'm the person that brought her from Nigeria. I pay for visa, I pay for plane ticket. She, she, she didn't pay. Me, I bring up from Nigeria. She has only been in this country maybe seven years now, eight years. I've been in this country 47 years. I have to make the white right decision and just get out from there. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, uh, Mr. Mack, uh, for sharing your own uh, experience with us as well. Uh, I wish many will learn from that because sometimes we are not sure when this thing might trigger you know, some people might be saying, oh, God forbid, God forbid, but the ability for you to control it when it happens is, it. is what matters, you know? You know, mm -hmm. so uh, God forbid, we have to rebuke it. But when you see any signs of things like that, you know, just end the marriage, walk away, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it doesn't want it, you go into prison. And it's not a good thing as well to have that bad name with you that would become a stigma with you forever. You say you take your woman life, ah, God forbid. But meanwhile, let me thank you, Mr. Mark. Thank you. Let me yes. hear from you. Okay. 
Yes. Uh, I would like to hear from uh, Madam Helen. Madam Helen, thank you very much for joining us. Good evening to you. Happy Sunday to you. Talk to us. Good evening, Mr. Elvis. Thank you, ma'am. Good evening, people at the panel section, comment section, mommy diaspora. Good evening. Thank you so very much, Mr. Elvis. Kai, this one that you brought is um, it's just a sad situation. It's so sad. I feel so bad for this and terrible for this woman because right now nobody can really say this is what happened. I feel for her. I feel for the young man. You know why? Because back here in Nigeria, we hear a lot of things. We see a lot of things. One of the things that happens to these women and their husbands when they go over to the US or Canada or UK, you know, it's, um, I think, cultural shock. Because back in Nigeria, we have a lot of men who are chauvinists. You understand, and they're very they 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 they, they are control freak, and they want their wives to stay under their you understand umbrella. They just that control. They need to be in control at all times, and you also have this woman who must have you know experienced you know this bad boss somehow when she was back in Nigeria, and now she's in a place where she has you know tested freedom. You know where she knows. If this man does anyhow, you know, the the law is on our side. I think somehow from, you know, experience and from what we gather, you know, and from what we see, somehow most times the women, you know, tend to go to the extreme, you know, so that most times it's even the innocent ones who will pamper their wives and treat their wives well that suffer in the hands of the women, you know, because you know, somehow they've, you know, been exposed to the law and then they have friends who will advise them otherwise. Like that young lady was saying, I mean, why would you want to frame your husband and, you know, for rape or something, knowing that that will implicate him because, you know, I, a lot of things happen. Back in Nigeria, women are suffering. Out there, women are suffering. Back in Nigeria, women are being fired every day because of these same no uh, family members telling you, you know, in our family there has never been a case of divorce, so you have to stay. So why don't you just walk? My own is walk away. Just walk away. There is absolutely no reason you should stay in a toxic relationship. For the man, like this man just say, walk away because Mr. Elvis is not just the women that suffer this abuse. This domestic abuse, there are some women that are very, very abusive. And the men, you understand, do everything to see how they can, you know, patch the marriage. You understand? And then there are some men that are also equally very abusive. So it's both, it's both ways. So when they go out there, you understand, somehow they lose themselves in the system. And for whatever reason, the system favors women more. There are a lot of, you know, Nigerian women, they were doing well when they were in Nigeria with their spouses. But when they go out there, it's, it becomes a different, you know, thing altogether. I've had a case where, you know, two very wonderful couple, they, they relocated to the U.S. All of a sudden, you know, before now, you see their posts on Facebook, on social media, on all, they were all over the place. But we didn't know that somehow the man had, you know, become a victim because now the wife had, you know, joined some sort of, um, you know, social group. And this social group are like, you know, like, you know, the man described when he came back, said they are husband eaters. You know, they keep their husbands, they tell, tell, they, they tell you, you understand, you keep these men in their place. And to what, see, I'm, I'm, I'm one person that, I don't like anybody, you know, telling me what to do in my marriage because I know what works for you cannot work for me. I like to take my decision myself. So, but when women allow others to tell them this is, you know, this is what should happen in your home, that's where we begin to lose it. I feel so sorry for this woman. And I feel so sorry for the man because if back in Nigeria she was experiencing his bad boss, I don't see any reason why she should have even given him the opportunity to come over to that place. See what has happened today. She should have just continued with her life. 
somehow one way or the other she could have is it for the children she could have been sponsoring them while they're in nigeria when they are of age she can take them over it's just sad women are not doing it well and men are not also doing it well so let's nobody should uh, get me wrong both parties you understand when they go out there Men somehow, for the ones who have maybe so, you know, low, low self-esteem, will think that their wives are intimidating them. Possibly maybe if the wife is the one making the money, they start feeling like whatever turn. She, they, if she talks, they say, eh, because you're any more money, that's why you want to insult me. Anything she does, they see it as an intimidation, and then they begin to react in a very negative way. And them too. Their friends will also be advising them. And you know, this word, this if it is me, I won't take it. Most times it does not work because that person that is telling you if it is me, I will not take it is actually taking worse than what you're taking. You know, but because they, everybody wants to show off and say, ah, mine is better than yours. You understand? And then they come up with this kind of um, information. So I feel people, everybody should learn their own you know, learn what works for them. Try to understand your spouse. Try to study your spouse. Try to be patient with your spouse. For the man, if the woman is any more, you understand, try to, you know, understand, like somebody said, 12 hours on your feet. is something that when you come back, you understand, everything is just, you're just, you know, irritated. And so when you come back and then the man begins to dole out more, it's not fair. If, why can't the man, if he's not doing anything, balance it? By the time she's coming back, I've seen it happen. By the time she's coming back, things are ready in the house. You know, kids are, are you know, you know, kids are taken care of. And then she comes back and then you welcome your wife. And then the home is, I think she will do better if she comes back to meet such situation. Why she comes back and you're crossing your feet and reading newspaper and telling her, get to the kitchen and continue the standing on your feet. She gets cranky. That is what is obtainable in Nigeria. That already we know that there are men that just sit on their listen and then the wives are all over the place, whether they go to work or they don't go to work. But that shouldn't be like that out there. The system does not, the system should not even allow that. But they take it out there. Please, let's learn to, you know, accommodate each other. That's what works. You can't come to my home and my husband will tell you, go and tell her. Because if you come and tell me any rubbish about my husband, I'll walk you out of my house. You, they, 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 nobody dares. I don't want to hear. If the man is out there, whatever he's doing out there, stays out there. Don't bring, don't be the one to come and bring it up. Because the question I, I, I a couple of, in my, the early years of my marriage, the question I will always ask, what's your, what's, what, what's your take in it? What, do you, what are you hoping to achieve? What are you hoping to gain? What's the need for you for trying to make me unhappy? Because that information that you're trying to bring, that thing that you're trying to introduce that will make me unhappy, what's your gain? I see it that way because if you're not gaining anything, then what's the need bringing it? And because me, I need to protect myself and protect my home. I walk you out. So we need to learn to accommodate each other. And when you're in a system for the women, when you're in a system that favors, please see how you can balance it. And for the man, please be the help, be the backbone that she needs. What did this woman do to deserve this? Why even why are you even going to have phone in the first place if you had something doing? I'm sure maybe you came over and you had nothing, you had all the time in the world. Why didn't you spend that time, you know, help backing her up? supporting her until maybe when you two, you are able to start up some years that you sold everything and you're owing back in Nigeria. But that's not Nigeria. Right now, she's the one putting food on the table. So why couldn't you help? Why chasing her all over the place? Knowing what must have been obtainable back in Nigeria. Shouldn't you have come over and realize that it's not the same thing? I feel so sorry for this woman, and I feel so, I particularly feel so sorry for the children. And for women who always want to stay in a toxic relationship, we need to stop. We need to stop. This fine is enough. Mr. Elvis, I, 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 my elder sister was in a toxic relationship, and it took her life. 
So I don't always, you know, feel, you know, happy when I see this happening. Women should learn to protect themselves. What was the need of her bringing him over? When she knows that back in Nigeria, it will always see most men that said their wives are cheating on them. Most times it's like Elvis. If you check it, they are not. I have a friend who comes to my house here. You understand? Right now she is in a situation. You know, her husband would rather give the housemaid. He said he wants to frustrate her till if she likes later, you know, pie. Why? For what? What did she do? If you ask him, no, absolutely nothing. Just you know, uh, that she asked him, why am I seeing this, you understand? Why am I seeing this in the car? When did you, you know, make these expenses? How come I'm not aware of it? And he took offense and has frustrated that she don't, uh, for close to two months now, she doesn't eat in the house. She does not eat in the house. She said when she sleeps, she sleeps with her eyes, one eye open. And her mother is saying, stay in it. The family members are saying, you know, in our family, we have never, there's no case of divorce. And so she's so missed. When she comes to this house, she comes to this, she can spend the whole day just crying. I don't know what to say to her because am I going to be the one to tell her that you don't need this? Walk away. And incidentally, she doesn't have a job. She doesn't have anything. The family that would have supported her and told her, okay, come home first. Let's know how to balance this. They are telling her to stay. They will tell, encourage her to stay until one day she's six feet below. Everybody will now start you know, saying, oh, oh, we, would have, we should have done so. We should have known better. Most relationships, most marriages in Nigeria is that, is that bad. Women are, women are in toxic relationships, but they can't move out because they will, your family will tell you, remember the children. But the question I, 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 the question I asked my sister when I had the opportunity, she, she, she was way older than me. I, asked, I said to her, when she told me for the sake of the children, what I said to her then, she was just 33 years old. What I said to her then was, if something happens to you today, these children, will they survive? She the children today are still all alive. She's gone long time ago. She's gone long time ago. And the children are still here. By 98, she was gone. So enough of this, enough of this. If we can't, if we can't manage each other, if we can't manage what we think is coming up, walk away. Why can't we just walk away? Why can't we just walk away? Thank you so very much, Mr. Elvis. Wow, thank you. Thank you very much, Madam Helen. Um, I will support your, your continuous statement, walk away. Walk away, walk away, walk away. That's the best way to avoid trouble that will land you in everlasting uh, regression. You know, um, Joe of Nazwa, are you there? I'm here. I'm here. Okay. Thank you very much. You're going to be the next. Madam Ellen, thank you very much. I appreciate you. Guys, press on the like button. Help us to share. Please talk to us, sir. Thank you. Good evening to you. Hey, good evening. Every, okay, every side you did now. I did first. Thank you. Good to have you after, on the panel. After, after, after election, we never thought the election may be well, well. But, I know. um, uh, but it's okay. Well, good morning to the viewers, afternoon, evening, wherever you may be listening from. I'm um, Joel of Nashville, um, Niger Watch. And, 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 and Mr. Elvis, uh, this is the issue, right? Um, I think that it's about time Nigerians understand this. And I've done my study on this issue. Nigerian men should understand that when they come to the United, when they come to the West, they should try and look for Nigerian women that was born in those areas. Because I think that's where the problem is. If you find yourself in America, look for an American, and if you want, if you must marry a Nigerian, no. Look for a Nigerian that was born here. They don't get too much carried away. They know what the game is. And you that is coming, you have the perception that you're meeting someone new, you know, and both of you, it's like the 
understanding each other is is uh, is better. Why do I say this? I am one of those that looking at what is going on. I'm one of those that said Nigerian guys should stop marrying Nigerian women, especially Nigerian women that's coming from Nigeria. You see, Mr. Elvis, our issue here, in this particular issue, I don't know if it's the same lady that uh, the husband opened the phone or, like, opened her phone and saw something. I don't know. Yes, it's, the same, it's the same lady, yeah, allegedly. Okay. Okay. So I don't go, I don't go to my wife's phone. However, the thing there is that for if he wasn't going to, if, she was comfortable enough to have left that on her phone. It means that the man has not been going to her phone for a long time. So what prompted him to go to the phone? What prompted him to go to the phone was that he has started seeing certain attitude from this lady. Now, I keep telling people, whether you care to listen or not, when you see issues, like this, it is better for you to say, I am done. And you just walk. But the thing there is that we are different human beings. And I've always told people, there is no general standard to how we are going to behave. Our reaction has no law. It is guided by the law, but there is nothing that stops you from doing whatever thing you, whatever you want to do at every particular point in time. The only thing holding us back is the consequences of those actions. So for some people that will say, damn those consequences and go ahead and do what they want to do. This is how we are all different. And then when they talk and say, you go do, 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 you go do, 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 do. You go do which person will be say uh, uh, the person go one with that yet, or you go do 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 which you what, what I do. Why is it that? Because you've been doing. You might do the this person. This person say, "Oh, I let go." This person say, "I let go." This person say, "I let go." Someone will say, "No, I see it differently and may act differently." That is why it is good to be good at all at all levels. If you do not need the dude, someone here was talking about varicose vein and nurses. I I I wonder if we open or if we open the men's uh, legs, if we're not going to see many varicose veins. Because those varicose veins you're talking about, yeah, it comes from standing. But some of these men you're talking about have been working probably in the factory, right? To bring you over, to bring you over. Nobody is cutting those varicose veins. If you know that you do not like him, why are you coming over? It also happens in Nigeria. When you see somebody train a lady, you train a lady in school. She was happy collecting her money. The I beg graduation, will I tell you? Interjection allowed, please. I brought and my I own man. I brought my own man. Nobody trained me. I brought my own man. Thank you. Uh, no, no, uh, that, that's no problem. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking in general terms. Okay. Right? Yeah. So, so, so that's what I was doing. I was talking in general terms. Now, if the person brings, if, 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 if the person brings you over, the person must have gone through some stuff to have brought you over. So what is the problem? The problem is that when people come, if you go on social media, Whenever you see a comment, go to the comment section. Then you will now see how people are thinking. Toxicity and masculinity is not gender specific. It is gender fluid. It could be a man. It could be a woman. Yes, you heard me right. Uh, toxic mas uh, mas uh, masculinity is both ways. If you've not dealt with a toxic lady, I will show you ten. So that is the issue we're having in Nigeria. And that is the issue we're having with Nigerians living over here. So do not marry Nigerian women from Nigeria that were raised up in Nigeria.
because the hustles, the realities, and everything are the same. She has people that are calling her for money. You have people calling you for money. Your realities are the same. When you come here, it is like the same way when you say it's a hot for head, that the same way is a hotter for head. Avoid them. Marry from here. If you do not see any Nigerian girl to marry from, from these Western places, go to Asia. Because sometimes we think about these things and we say it's only in Nigeria. No. The issue with Nigeria is that we are so easily influenced by foreign cultures. If you come to the United States and you see how they are men treat their women, you will leave Nigeria's men feet. What are we talking about? The Asian ladies, Indian ladies you see, do you have more domestic violence than them? No. But there is something about family. There is something about your culture. And that is the reason why we are neither here nor there. Our culture is being dismantled. You see an Indian lady, um, I, I, I'm going to watch. An Indian lady, this Indian lady that you see, is anyone hearing me? Hello? Yes, we can hear you, sir. Yeah. This Indian lady that you see, averagely, 150,000 a year. They're into IT. You don't hear their voice. Look at the Chinese ladies. You do not hear their voice. The Louis Vuitton, the, all these things that always make them mad on social media, you do not see them with that. They present their own culture. They build their nucleus of the family because they understand the advantages of family. They build the nucleus because if you, if as a body, uh, for some of us that is the sciences, the family is the cell of the society. If something is wrong with one cell in your body, you, if it is cancerous, it's gone. Now our cell, the cell of our society is being broken. And it is being broken because we cannot hold on to what we have. We cannot walk through what we have. We are just throw away the baby with the bed water because we do what we see other people. In the United States, my brother, it is 72% single born among the black community. And those are the major influencers of Nigerian women. 72%. What that means is that for every 10 ladies you see, Seven are single. And you will want to think, okay, since um, uh, uh, these ladies are single, they would like to stay on their own. No. Do you know their first target? People's husbands. So do not feel comfortable if you're married and you think that this other person is just single. No. Because women date up. They date up. Men date down. So a man can have something to do with a maid. But a woman cannot. It's hard for a woman to do so. Or a truck driver. A woman, oh, oh, no, no. So those ones that are really working and are responsible, who are they? Mostly people's husbands. So they're coming for your husband. Don't get too comfortable. Maybe if you don't know, don't know now, it, you will know tomorrow. So, okay, Effie, this is the problem. And when you come here and you see the effect of broken families among the black community, it is appalling. And that is the reason why they are 10 times more likely to go to jail. They are 10 times more likely not to uh, uh, finish high school. They are 10 times more, more likely not to uh, go to university. They are 10 times more, uh, more likely to, uh, uh, to kill on the street or join gangs. The facts are there. We cry that our politicians don't do or uh, 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 copy the right things. We as a people, we copy the wrong things. So who is holding each other? Nobody. There is nothing like sacrifice whenever they come here, um, um, or guy Elvis. Everybody, when they, when they come here, they start joining these groups of ladies. Like this, the lady before me spoke, said, you never see them. They will tell you, oh, I cannot take this, I cannot take this. Most of them take 20 times what you're taking. 20 times. Especially when you come here, 
there are men, there are women are the ones they, 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 because there are no more men. Some of them, most of the men are probably in jail or they are not doing so much work because of the system. Right? Now, what do they do? They now still go back and still targeting those people. And they get pregnant of them. And when they come out, they say, oh, men and shit. Because the person you're going to bring up is no good. He's been battered. So, okay, if I don't want to take so much time on this, my only advice on this issue is this. Nigerian men, marry when you go to the West. Forget whatever girlfriend, whatever what relationship you have in Nigeria. Marry from the West. Marry Nigerian women born in the West. If you cannot find one, go to Asia. And in Asia, I will tell you where to go. You go to the Philippines, you go to Japan, you go to China, you go to some of this, this uh, 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 Guatemala. They still have women that have culture. They go out there and walk, and you will not hear them. Action and reaction are one and the same. Someone did not just come up one day and started being an animal. Something might have prompted the person. On the last note, uh, Mr. Elvis, um, you might think that men are the reason, but there's a study I read yesterday about lesbians. Right and getting married. That's lesbians that got married. Amongst lesbians, it is seventy percent divorce rate. What is the first reason for divorce? Uh, domestic violence and financial oppression. Let's ask ourselves the question: Who is at fault? Who is doing all this bullshit? Thank you very much. Okay, thank you, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Jura. I appreciate your submission right there. Uh, everybody on the platform have given their submission. We're going to give our final submission uh, so we can end the show. I appreciate you all, my people. Please help us to press on the like button, help us to share. I'm going to come back to Madam Luke. Madam Luke, please give us your final submission on this topic today, and let's take it from there. We'll come back to Mr. Mack. Thank you. Final submission. When the going is good, it's good. It doesn't matter what race you marry from. People were talking about Indians and uh, Chinese and Guatemalans. You need to come to see the way these people treat their wives where I'm working. They don't, they don't, they don't drive to work. Oh. By the time they work and come back, they have packed their lunches. When you come back, you see lack of stress on their faces. You don't hear them killing each other. The woman, the man respects the fact that the woman is working. Even if he has his own job, they agree and they work as a team. It's okay. One person is going to hold down the house. You go out and work. This woman will work seven days a week. The man will not lift a finger. They won't pay for baby care. They won't pay for child care. They won't, the, the, by the time the woman comes home, the house is thick and span. He has cooked. He has done everything. That is the way Indian working women are treated. But the Nigerian man will never treat you that way. Especially when his friends are around. Oh my God. That's when he's going to know he wants to cook a person. And he wants to entertain his people with his beer parlor. They don't care whether you have not slept. I've, I'm a, I, I, I remember many years ago, for 20 years ago, my father came to visit. And I just finished working. My husband was like, oh, uh, Papa hasn't eaten. You know? I just came back from work. And I'm like, so what were you all doing in the house before I came? So I have to come and cook for Papa. Then my dad actually told me, eh, it's the work of a, a wife now. So I said, you know what, you guys are not serious. When you are hungry, eh? however you want to do it, you will find a way to enter that kitchen and go and cook that food. I'm not moving an inch. And I want keep person. That is one thing. We don't support ourselves. And another thing I will say finally, when your time is up in a relationship, you need to recognize that your time is up. Don't go where you're not wanted. The moment you see that feelings have started changing, Respect yourself and leave. You don't beg for love and you don't beg. Money or honey are two things you cannot beg for in this life. This one is saying you want to go to Guatemala, you want to go to this. Huh. You haven't come out of the one that you entered. With, you see, when you when you forget that whenever you get divorced or you separate or you break a relationship, a hole is, is dug into your heart. And the more failures you record, that hole keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger then by the time you go to get somebody else, you're totally damaged goods. 
you cannot even function in a relationship because the smarting and the and and the injury emotional injury you have survived has not even healed then you are looking to go and torture somebody else why don't you concentrate on your children i respect my father the moment my mother started making one 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 they separated ways JJ. My father never remarried. He was a single father. And that's why people talk about me. They say, well, why are you so harsh? I said, because I was raised by a single man. <laughs> he was the one that cooked. He was a, a very rare gem in the whole of Nigeria. He said he cannot allow another woman to come into this house and turn his children into housemates. He will go have his fling, whatever he wants to do, come back home. He never remarried. My mother remarried and everything. My father said, never. That is why I know that for any woman, the first love you can ever get in your, in your life is your daddy's love. And once you see that kind of love, no man can rubbish you. No man can ever, ever rubbish you. So it's not a matter of being emotionally needy. Must you marry? If your marriage doesn't work out, train your kids and keep moving. Must you, must you be in a man's house? Must you be in a woman's house? So finally, check your emotional state before you jump into another relationship. Because... After you have left that one of battery, you are not safe or healthy enough to go into another relationship until you have cured yourself of all the other injuries and insults, emotional insults you have received from your past relationship. Please do not venture into another relationship. Check your emotional health. Number one, learn to recognize regret, re rejection. Going to look at somebody's phone. What's your business with somebody's phone? That's the height of insecurity. Do you need a phone to tell you that somebody is cheating on you? And then you're running to pastor. To do what? To go and bring back a dog that is already lost. Most of us are our own problems. My dear men, we learn to respect ourselves. Don't go where you're not wanted. You don't have to be married. If you're not healthy enough, stay out of it and train your children so that they can have a better role model to, 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 to deal with. Because two dysfunctional people cannot, cannot raise, raise functional children. It's better to have one same parent than have two dysfunctional ones in a house, all in the name of marriage. So before you can go to another relationship, please check yourself. It's better to stay single than to start going to torture people all over the world and recording divorces and divorces and, and failures down the line. Thank you very much. Wow. Thank you, Madam Luke. May God bless you. Before I come to Mr. Mark, let me take this call. Uh, Madam, love of God is my strength. Thanks for calling in, Madam. Talk to us. Good evening to you. Thank you very much. Ah, this story is, uh, is so touching. It's not easy. It's so touching. I, I, I should have caused things, but I'm finding it hard because, number one, I'm just thinking about the children. Where are they going to be now? No matter how we say that the social worker in the UK, they look after children. It can never be like a one's parent who is there to look after their children. I've seen children who grow up in social homes and I see the way they ended. I would just pray that something will happen. Somebody will, they will allow maybe one of the parents, one of the family to come and take over these children. That's my prayer. Yes, with this thing, uh, this woman that uh, that was acquired by the husband. Oh, there are different stories flying all over the place about what happened. It is so deep and it's, it is so touching for a man to raise his hand and do this to a woman. No matter what, a woman we do, a man is not supposed to put their hands on a woman. No matter the situation, if you know that in the relationship that you are in, that you are seeing sign that is not right, why not walk away? It is better to save your life or save that person's life than you being in a toxic marriage. Number one, the woman, the woman has been going through this in Nigeria before they moved to the UK. What I was told was that the woman wanted the children to join her here. 
So this, she decided to let, oh, that's the only way she can get her children for this man to join in. And I want to say something now. You see, to be a nurse in this UK is not easy. Oh. The work, the load of job that this people do is not easy. And moreover, no matter what, if you come and you find out that the woman is messing around, as some people are saying, then you should know it's over. Why not just leave these children so that these children will get a better life and move away? Why put your hand on, on her? And finally, the way even, I don't know if you've ever heard the way she was, uh, finally, she, the way she was finished, it was terrible. For him to have that kind of mind to do this is really bad. I'm begging our men, if you find out that things are happening like this, your women or your wife are not doing well, please excuse yourself and leave. Don't kill yourself over a woman. Don't think you own a woman. You don't own a woman. A woman owns her own life. You are just married. So now he has done this. What has he put those children to? He brought the children to this life to suffer. And I want to I do I want to say something for everybody to hear. As we are talking about men, let's look at about women. So women are so annoying. Let's see, let's say the truth. So women can push men. I work, I was a prison officer in Denmark. And I saw a lot of things. I see the way women lie on men. I see the way children lie on their dad. Mr. Niger Watch, if you hear it, I see, you know, this one really it, it, it shocked me because it's because I see it, or I've seen all these things anyway, but I'm so shocked that in Nigeria we do this. And I want to tell you, it's not only the, only the women know that they cry, men are being cried by, by, by men. There are women who beat their husband. When you say beat, they beat their husband and their husband will be unconscious. I've seen it. I, I have a friend that is a husband beater. When he beats this man here, eh, this man will be calling me and begging me to beg her. I've seen it. So what are we going to do to solve this thing? Is to respect ourselves. If you know that you cannot cope in a relationship, please move away don't stay there don't say you want to control the woman or you want to control the man let you so that two of you can live and be a parent to your children don't force your love on somebody when love is no longer in a marriage there's no need and you are irritated there's no need to be there and say because of the children our my mother did that and he sent her to the grave my mom died because of that. So with this thing that happened to this woman, it really touched me. So I'm begging everybody, let us save our life mm. so that we will not regret. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. Thank you. God bless you. All right. Um, wow. That uh, explanation, or rather submission from um, Madam... Uh, Love God is my strength. Yes, I, I we agree because I've I've seen so many, so many, especially in the UK, where women do everything to push men. You know, fortunately, we live in a world where it is easy to see that men are doing everything wrong, but in most cases, nobody is seeing what the woman is doing or how the woman is pushing the men to do what they're doing. So for me, my own advice to my fellow men. When you find yourself in a toxic environment or a marriage or even a relationship, please walk out. Don't look down on yourself because once you have a low self-esteem, that's when you begin to be, you think that if I leave this woman, I might not find another woman that will be like this or beautiful like this or even better than this. No. Always have it in mind that there are better things ahead of you waiting for you. You just need to take a decision sometimes. Rather than you putting yourself in prison, it's, it's not a good one. And now, look at those children. They don't have mother. Likely, they're not going to have father as well. 
you know even though the father is released tomorrow anytime they decided to release the the father the uk government would never allow that man to have possession of those children anymore you know but we know what it is murder case you know the man will spend more than a minimum of 50 years there even though it's there at night they're going to count it it's still going to be 50 years so if you have 50 years to the age of their children right now maybe the last born will be like 60 years old the last born of the <laughs> will be like 60 years old god forbid ah god Meanwhile, Mark, you can say, give us your final submission, sir. L let's round up. Hello, sir. Thank you. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The point that I made before is uh, still the same. The responsibility of the adult. It needs, uh, they need to have that uh, sense before it deteriorates too far. If we get so far, that means they have not been paying attention. If we get that far, they, they are supposed to have worked for a long time. That, that's just about that one. Then uh, the other point is that the children, they're always the ones that are victims of this one. Children, they always, because uh, there's nothing you can do. It's like sometimes the situation between the two adults is uh, unavoidable, so to speak. But then you have children. And the children will always be the uh, victims of bad outcomes of the uh, relationship of the adults. Anyway, that's about the children. And the other one is about um, the reputation of uh, Nigeria as a country. This guy, now that he's all in the news, he's not giving Nigeria a good name. That's another thing that is not uh, I'm not happy with. He's just giving Nigeria a more of a bad name. And so those are my three points. All right. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much for joining us today. I really appreciate you. I noticed that you try to join us sometimes. The, the space is not really there. But today you spent time with us all through. That means that you have enough time today. God bless you. Yes, yeah, sir. All right. Let me come to uh, Ogadjo. Please talk to us. Give us your final submission, sir. Okay, um, the issue now is that um, there are kids involved. So um, there are kids involved, and it's a pathetic one. I would hope that um, there are family members that would um, take um, in charge of those kids and take custody of those kids in Nigeria, or well, women in Nigeria. Uh, to take care of those kids because you see, uh, those kids are already battered. Waking up one morning and not seeing daddy, not seeing mommy. It can never be the same for those kids. Those kids are broken. And um, if you want to put them, uh, if, uh, if you want to leave them with the government, then they have to go through the foster care system, which is one of the uh, modern child slavery uh, acts that have stayed in the West. Because it's not like they really take care of them. You know, anybody can come and just pick up one one of the siblings. Another person can pick up one of the siblings. And it's a huge mess. So everything I have said today is about prevention. How do we prevent things like this from happening? And I just have enumerated. I have said that. Do not marry women from Nigeria. Women born in Nigeria, if you're in Nigeria. Do not do that. They are as toxic as you. They are as masculine as you. And in fact, you see, these days women started working. So now they started seeing what men are seeing when they go to work. When you work a lot, you tend to build your testosterone level. It's that simple. So that aggressiveness, everything comes with us. So until we fix the leadership issue in Nigeria, we might still see this kind of aggression. People tend to, you know, take loss into or take matters into their hands. So I feel for those kids, and if they have um, uh, uh, where to donate for their upkeep, I will be, I will be more than happy to donate for their upkeep. And um, I just pray for them, and also pray for the repose of the lady, and also for the man. But most importantly, the kids. 
Okay, office. If you have any any link to maybe if they are doing any donations for them, um, if they opened up uh, what they call it again uh, for them, and then please put the link. We shall donate it to them. Their upbringing. Thank you very much, and God bless you all. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. It's good to have you on the panel today. Um, in terms of the donation, uh, to be honest, <laughs> because say uh, now government they handle the whole matter. Now I'm not sure UK government will come out for any kind of donation. That would not be possible. So um, no, if no. I mean, like I mean, like I mean, they have like uh, what they call the um, the man was the meeting or the woman was the meeting. I mean, they no come from heaven. Yeah, they that's what I'm saying. Who are they going to donate for? Uh, man, that's what I'm saying. If 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 the Nigerians there take hold of the kids, right? No, it's not that possible. Is, it's not possible, sir. It's not. It is UK no, government? No, it is. No, is it, it is. No, over here, yeah. Because I have, we have this kind of situation here that happened oh. where the man killed the wife here, yeah, and the kids. Uh, we took the kids, and um, um, I mean, the government will ask you who is who is like a nest, nest of kin. Or if you know, if someone close to them, if you can handle the kids, the government can give them to you. I mean, that's oh. the essence. The essence of foster care is to see if families will come and get those kids. So if you offer yourself, they will give you the kids. They'll give it to you. Okay. Okay. All yeah. right. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Um, Thank you. Anyway, um, if there's any update on this, you know, we we'll also come here to talk about it. But for now, I don't know how the case will go from there. Well, meanwhile, uh, I would like to appreciate every one of you that joined us today. I would like to pass this on before we round up. Before that, I appreciate every one of you that joined us today. Today, I don't want us to stay long here. We're already here for two hours. This is my proposed uh, time for some, most especially Saturday or Sundays. You know, so um, if you're a man, you're listening to me right now. Rather, man or woman, let me talk to both of you. You know, you're married or you're not married. You're planning to marry. You know, please, please. There are so many things you need to look at before getting into any kind of marriage. You need to know your partner very well. Yes, don't be excited to forget yourself sometimes. You need to know your 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 proposed husband or wife. Know them very well to, to be sure this is the, the person you are going to spend the rest of your life with. Normally, that is how marriage is supposed to be. You know, when you get married, then is the person that you're going to spend the rest of your life with. That's how it used to be anyway. But this time around now, you not get to see people get married. They only went there for temporary purposes, which is surprising. But for any reason, you finally get married to each other and you not get to understand that the man that you married or the wife, the woman you married is not being, you know, uh, or rather, the marriage is not being uh, a toxic one, you know. Um, it's not the kind of uh, a, 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 um, character you expected from the man or woman is what you're seeing anymore. Then discuss about it. You know, I'm only now we have my small sense which I talk, so many of you might know better than me, but then discuss about it. If you discuss about it, for example, you're talking to your wife, these are things you're doing, I don't like it, and she's not willing to change then you can change. Yes, she's not willing to change. You can change. How do you change? Walk away. And if it's a man, if it's a woman as well, you're telling your, your, your husband, these are the things you're doing, I don't like it. And you now get to understand that you cannot uh, stay or live with it, that kind of uh, attitude anymore. Then walk away. I don't advise any woman to cheat on their husband. Once you know you are married, don't cheat on your husband. It's not a good thing. You know, I don't so advise any man to go and be carrying girls left or right because men see that they are entitled to that for a reason I've been asking. I don't know how you think you are entitled to cheat in your marriage, but your wife is not entitled to it. A lot of women who are married, I've talked about this on air and off air. A lot of women who are married, busy, struggling, looking after their children at home, many men have went out there to bring sicknesses to them at home. Yes, many of you can testify to that. So this is the same man that feels that, okay, I'm entitled to cheat, but my wife is not entitled to cheat. But cheating, the, the, the most of the results you get in cheating is this. 
you go out and cheat and you, the innocent woman at home is looking after the children and doing everything possible for the home to work, you come home to inflict her. Meanwhile, uh, there's all that story because we wanted to expand it. There are so many things we'll talk about. There are also many men who have family out outside their marriage and their wife is not aware. Yeah, I particularly know some of them though who have children. I, I know somebody in abroad that have children, that have two children in Germany because I've known them for so long. His wife is not aware. His wife is not awaiting tomorrow. And those children now, because he, he, he celebrated the birthday of those two children, one is 13 and one is 11. I asked him personally, is your wife aware now? He said, no, 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 no. He never reached her. I'm not going to tell her. I'm not tell her. No. But when? Because I remember I asked him the same question that was about eight years ago. I go tell her now, tell her now. The first child now is not eight, uh, uh, 13. Why the other one is 11? I'll tell her, I'll tell her, but never reach. When? This is because I've also seen situation in Nigeria where a man dies. Their secret children will now emerge. Say, no, na, no, na, my papa, na, my papa, na, my papa. Then the wife will be surprised. These things happen all the time. You know why I'm saying this, guys? Because most men, we always feel entitled all the time. For me, I like respect to not get me wrong. Yes, everybody have what you like. But if you are not getting what you like from your wife or your husband, you have a choice to walk away. But you don't have the right to think that you can, you, you can treat your wife anyhow. What makes you think you're entitled to cheat and your wife is not entitled to? Do? Then the, the basic thing that or oh, the most reasons I hear is the tradition. Our traditions say we can marry more than one wife. Yes, if you want to marry more than one wife, it's different from cheating. Yes, it's different from cheating. If you, if you have a first wife, you want to marry the second wife, it's not up to the, your first wife if she wants to stay or leave. You can marry 300 wives if you want to. That's not a problem. Please, questions. Please. Sorry, questions. Yeah, go ahead. You see, this is your situation that you're talking about. I just posted yeah. in the comments any man, any woman that does not know her husband is cheating has mental problems. You think, let me give you an example. I was wondering where you were going to bring this story from. A woman kept her husband quiet while he was doing all those things. Come to find out the four children she has at home, none of them was for her husband. Mm. Come to find out too, those two children that the man had that said were not his because he was not capable of fathering a child. So you see, when things like this happen, you just let the things play out. Don't think the woman doesn't know. That one has her own show going on. That's all I have to say. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right. Uh, yes, I, I also understand that most women are aware that their husband cheats. But my, my take here is that he's not who is aware or not. Is it nice? I'm talking to the men right now because I'm a man. I believe I can communicate well. You know, is it nice that you take pride from it that I must cheat? Right? Is it if you want to don't if you want to marry more than one wife or oh God go and marry 378 wives? No problem. I don't have a problem with that. Marry now. Your first wife can't know whether she wants to stay or not. Not every woman will want to be your first wife or second wife. She might decide to go. You know, at least she's okay. aware, okay. right? Okay, I miss. Okay, I miss. Yes, sir. You know, I, I, I would I would have said, right? Uh, it, the issue there is that we hide a lot in Nigeria. It's our culture. Person that you see poster. What do you see for poster? Uh, after a brief illness. You ask family members, ah, they don't say this one, this one. They will never tell you they can kill that person. So it is that idea of hiding in Nigeria. Over here, there are people that are open-minded. They'll be there in an open relationship. So be smart about it. In fact, there, there was this uh, paper I wrote while I was in school uh, about, about the swingers community. Right? I did research on these things. So people are already moving away from this monogamous or 
uh, spiritual or Christian way of um, having a marriage. They do it on their own. They do this. Some of them is go and do your own idea. Have the understanding of the idea of hiding it from your spouse. I think that is what, where the problem is. So the shock, because again, this, if you, if you notice when there was this guy on social media uh, that used to have a lot of female, over 500,000 females on, her, on his page. They, uh, the female, they, he was doing giveaways and all that. The moment he said DNA, they, they started threatening him. So if you say that the Nigerian men are cheating, why are we men, Nigerian women, against DNA in Nigeria? A lot of them. And we have seen it. We have seen it. It's not been done when people say they come abroad. When people say they say, tell your kid, you can go embassy. Now people, they find out. If you were that person on the other side, what would you think? Did they go have three, four kids outside red law because okay. the man was cheating? So it's a lot of things that we have to talk about. It's a, a failure of society. Thank you. All right. Uh, thank you very much, uh, my people. These people are trying to attack us right here now, but I guess everybody can still hear me, right? Yeah. I can hear you. Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Okay, wonderful, wonderful. Thank you very much. All right, but nevertheless, um, we can if we have to discuss marriages, we might stay here for the whole day. I just think that if it's not working, walk away. I think that is the best thing. A man, please don't manage a woman that is violent, a woman that is disrespectful, a woman that doesn't have any kind of regard for you. Don't manage her. You know, end the marriage and move on, to be honest, because these things will lead you into or put you into depression that might even lead to early death. Don't manage her. Then a woman, please don't manage a man that is violence. A man who is raising her hands on you, don't manage him. You know, there's no need. End, end marriage and move on. Because these things might lead you lead to your early grave as well. So for me, when we are trying to manage it, it go better, it go better. I, I, I don't think it makes any sense. But now there my sense reached anyway. I believe that there are many people out there that know better than us here. But if you know you know better and you want to, you want people to learn from you, please leave your comment in the comment section after this video. Or for those of you that are going to be watching this video later on or tomorrow again, because we're going to be re-uploading again, you know, please uh, leave your uh, opinion right there because sometimes you're not aware. Comment section now is where most people pay more attention to in the whole social media right now. Yeah, so whenever you are leaving your comment, please read it proof read it many times before you leave it right there your comment could break and kill or destroy it or make anybody so um yeah thank you very much my people we come to the end of this broadcast uh two hours 20 minutes is is wonderful for me today at least i have enough time to relax till tomorrow 6 p.m again remember like i said barista tony cano uh will be is it tony uh, I, I keep I keep giving me uh, uh, Kanu Namdi. Sorry, Barista Kanu Namdi will be joining us on Tuesday by Nigerian time, 8 p.m. And they were to join us uh, on that particular day. We're going to be talking holistically about the things that are affecting you and I in Nigeria. So he's going to be taking questions and he's going to be taking us through as well because uh, you have more knowledge and more understanding about the country better than us and for those of you that are talking about biafra 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 all the time and those of you that is also talking about separation division or staying in nigeria one nigeria and all that come in that day don't worry maybe he's the best person to to ask question and he might answer your question rather than you coming here all the time ask me questions some of you pass questions to me on the comment section sometimes i just look at it and say ah, which one me did for his side you know, I'm just a normal person like you. I don't really know much. So we all are here to learn. So we'll be gonna, we are going to be learning from Mr. Kano on that particular day, Tuesday, 8 p.m. Nigerian time. Thank you very much, everyone, for that joined this broadcast today. Madam Luke, thank you very much. I appreciate your time with us today. And thanks for the support earlier on as well. Michael Kunsai, thank you very much. Joy, thank you. Madam Helen, thank you so much. I appreciate you all on the comment section. I'd like to quickly appreciate uh, those of you right there. Mother of all, Mommy Diaspora, thank you very much, Mommy. I uh, appreciate you always, always. Uh, Madam Patricia Gujomi, thank you so much. Thank you, Mark. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, my wonderful people right there. Madam, uh, uh, love God is my strength. 
thank you, thank you, thank you. Divine Cross, I can see you. Thank you very much. God bless you, all my people. Vitals, thank you, my wonderful people. Sky TV, I can see you right there as well. Thank you, Ijidima. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, every one of you. Uh, I understand some of you might be surprised today, but those, those, those of you that are going to be joining us later on, make a go join us. They will not get to realize that ah, they don't close already. Yes, please. I want our Saturday and Sunday to be a maximum of two hours, maximum, maximum, while our Monday to Friday should be maximum of three hours, you know, not be election time. So do six hours, five hours is not easy. Trust me. You know, if we are making money from it, then I can be here for 300 hours. But it's not by staying here for um, so many hours. We, 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 we determine if you're going to make money or not. So please understand with us, it's not easy, but it don't be firewood as they talk up, you know. But meanwhile, uh, my people, now yeah, now we'll draw the curtain. Take care, have a good night, and God bless you all. Bye. <music>